At the moment, our clinical workflow routine um, is changed by dual energy in terms of demonstration of different images. For example, uh, with the use of body bone removal, you can demonstrate the clinician, for example, surgeons or other disciplines, images within two mouse clicks, um, get a VRT image, um, a VRT data set really quick. Um, so I think, especially for demonstrations, of different uh, diseases, especially on the vascular side, it's a quite a good application to do a one or two step examination for uh, presenting to the clinicians. Another thing is that, um, of course, it's still a big subject of research, but uh, for example, the lung PVV, where you can uh, show perfusion deficits, is a promising tool to rule out, uh, for example, a chronic PE, or to say if there are really malperfused areas in the lung or in the heart by using heart PBV. We are actually using most uh, the lung PBV as well as the stone detection in dual energy, we actually do stone detection on every um, low dose CT. When we see a stone, we just go over the data set to the spot where we had the stone and uh, do an acquisition of about three, four centimeters to detect the stone and to quantify if it's calcified or non calcified. Another thing is um, that the bone removal, as I said, is a good tool. For the perfusion tools, I think there are quite a lot of protocols which are really rentable and you can reuse for clinical routine right now. But as I said, it's still a lot of work to be done.